What's up, everybody? I'm building a table for my kids. I just framed this thing out. It's as strong as a tank. They've broken the last, I don't know, the last three or four tables. So I got some 4 by 4s from Home Depot. I stained them last night. And I left a little gully here in the top. And I'm going to put epoxy in the top. But I'm going to embed some of this leftover stuff that I have that is not that valuable to me. Because my kids like tools. And they like to play with different things. So I'm going to put it right in the top there. And I'm going to cover it with this epoxy. So right now, they were using, they are using an air conditioner box as a table. We kept going to the internet and buying these. these cheap tables online and the kids jump up on them and break them and they're a hundred bucks a piece so I figured I would make something that's gonna last we will see how it goes I have to cut this rebar so it fits in there and then uh, we'll just make a design that right there is about 20, 30 bucks in leftover copper. That's some heavy wire. So it should look nice in the top of the table. Okay, let's get to it. We'll see how it looks. First thing I'm going to do is go around the edge with some polyurethane. It's very tight. I don't think it would leak without putting anything there. Some people put tape there, but this is going to be a one-time pour. I'm not cutting the edges off. I know there's a little dust on the edges there, but I'm covering all that with stuff anyway. So I'm going to seal that off because if I don't, it could come leaking out through those cracks on the side. I just touched that the side up. That's why it's a little... It's a little uneven, but that'll all even out. I need to seal these corners. Okay, the table's set. I'm about to mix the epoxy. 
I just checked and made sure that everything is below the level of the epoxy that I set into the table, so that's all good to go. I had to remove a few things that were too high and uh, put some things in that were smaller, but it still has the same look. Um, I'm going to mix this stuff up. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. This probably isn't the best epoxy to do this with, but I'm not going that deep, especially with all the stuff that's in the table. It shouldn't get too hot. It's pretty cool out tonight, but you have to make sure you get the right epoxy for the job. I'm not following my own advice because I know um, how to kind of tend to this epoxy so it won't crack, hopefully. If it does crack, I'll fill it in again tomorrow, but I don't think it will. I've done a few pours with this already. I had to fill in some woodpecker holes with it already. So I have a window open behind me. I have a mask. I have my blowtorch ready to get the bubbles out. And uh, I have to mix two of these in one bucket, one part each in one bucket, and then I have to pour that into another bucket. The main thing with epoxy is that you mix it perfectly, otherwise it won't harden. So, here we go. It starts to get hot and you can pour it in there. Just got to make sure you mix it really good. Once I'm done with these, let's put them under there.
<laughs> He's already fried. <laughs> what is that? I'm probably not too good for him then. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
You good? Mm -hmm. What kind of haircut do you want today, sir? Right here. You want the little buzzer? Yeah, I want a little buzzer. Or a red clip or a purple clip? A purple clip. A number two, purple? And purple. Okay. your haircut? Mm -hmm. Wait. He doesn't need to give you that thing. There's no light on her. You know? I can see her. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Eat up. 